Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Grandia 2. Hopefully I sound less like death. And I left the sewers here so that I could go back up to the top and get some stuff. So uh, everything we've got here is pretty much done. We came down here and got that treasure chest, which I forget what was in it at the moment. But I mean, we got it, so it's there. I need to bring up my my map here. Here we go. Uh, that one had the lightning tiara, which is now on uh, Millennia. I put that on Millennia. And then we got the move blessing. So, as you can see, enemies uh, that I don't want to get into a fight with, so give me just a second. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Grandia 2, and hopefully I sound a little bit like less like death, rather than like death. Uh, one thing I did is I left the dungeon, and I came back to the store to buy... Wait, there it's the bombs. That's what I was looking for. Uh, Ice Fang Stones. I bought Ice Fang Stones. They are basically Crackle, but they have a set power of 1,200, making them right now the strongest grenade-type weapon we have, by a large margin. So... I wanted to make sure I had a stock of those. Granted, they're not as terribly useful here because the the enemies here that, you know, are going to be present are not as uh, weak to ice, which is funny considering I also have a silver freeze, which I need to equip. Alright, so we've got a bunch of enemies here. We've got people that I don't want to deal with. We've got some money there, and then we're going to make our way over here, and there's a box there. This place is all fairly linear because there's only so many places you can go to given the layout of everything. And then we push a box over here, and now we have access to this side, which means we have some bad guys that I don't quite think I can avoid because they are rather large. And we get an Electrum Stone and almost get attacked. Perfect. Let's just make a break for it over here. We don't really need to fight these guys. I am well over leveled for where we are at. We're gonna go down this ladder and that's... there's nothing over here that we can see so it's this way and we have a lever that basically lowers some gears that allows us to walk across things. And this is how we're going to get back and forth from the last couple of things. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, we've got, I think, two treasures left that we haven't gotten. Three, maybe. So, uh, come over here. And then we've got another one of these that's going to lead us onto the other side. And the cogs keep turning. Spacely sprockets and Coswell cogs. I know what a cog is. I don't quite remember what a sprocket is at the moment. And why and how did they become the things that we built the future on? That's my question. Anyway, so we come up here, and we're going to take kind of a long way around. There was there probably more gold, but bad guys. So give me just a second. All right, so he's dead, and magical brace is what we wanted. And then we can do this, and this will open the platform so that we can get back to the save point so we can recover, which is just perfectly timed because of that last fight, so I can make up the SP and little HP that I lost in that fight, which is just perfect. There we go. And now we're going to go over this way, and we're going to go down here, and there's another switch by itself, and what it does is it changes the direction of one of the cogs, which completely changes how things work. I don't know who designed this waterway, but 
it, it's pretty impressive. But mostly, why did you put this under your castle? Like, I'm... I'm wondering the strategic value of all of these switches, levers, cogs, and, you know, whatnot. And we can't just come down here because that, that ladder's broken, which is why we didn't just come up the that ladder. And we came all the way over here. So, we're gonna come there, and then there's the last treasure there, which is just some money. Money, 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 money. Not even a lot of money. The sad thing is, you get more money from dungeons than you typically do from power leveling. Which kind of depresses me. Alright, so where are we? What do we got now? I don't know. Okay, this is just the exit. Okay. I thought this was the exit. Oh, yeah, yeah. The exit. Because who would have thought that we need to come over here and press on the secret hidden wall? That makes so much sense, don't it? And that takes us out into the castle. So we can come over here to the Room of Demon Ceiling. That sounds like a, a pleasant place, doesn't it? And we find Minery! He looks creepy, but I actually believe he's a good guy. He just looks all sorts of not right. So the gate hasn't been opened, and Minery is apparently the guardian of the door. Minery the Demon Sealer. Guarding the Gate of Darkness is the role of my people. So yeah, what's tell us what the door is. Uh, the mural looks rather frightening, doesn't it? Proof of our heritage is the people of darkness. It said that it will open. People of darkness have regained their pride. And the power of darkness is to, said to lie on the other side. Also said it may trigger a disaster or even war. Hmm. That sounds less than happy, doesn't it? Well, had Highness had words of praise for me, but that's not all. His Highness said that there would be no more need for me to guard the gate. Well, that's ominous. Yep, looks like your dad knows that the, the door's going to open. Yeah, what's the key? I'm guessing it's... It's Roan's medal. The medal the prince took with him when he left the kingdom is the key to opening the gate. I thought it was a necklace to go with your tiara. And Ryoto's like, uh, er, when I was a dick, which was ten minutes ago. The medal is precious to my family that is guarded for generations. It's also a memento of my late mother. Passed down to the, whoever will inherit the throne. And decided the... So basically it's just a... Hmm, I got this medal. Maybe we should open this gate of darkness that could bring about a major calamity. Nah, I don't think so. There's two things you can do to a gate. Open it or close it. Yeah, let's go ask your dad what he's planning on doing with the gate. Must be on the top floor. Let's go determine his father's intentions. I'm pretty sure I know his father's intentions. It's to open the gate and be a dick and kill everyone. And hey, look! Another save point. So, yeah. I probably should save it. I will probably save it after this. So it's like, there's really not a lot in this place. So we're just going to come over here and uh, come into the main hall. And no one's questioning that these people who, as far as they know, who let them in, are wandering around the main audience chamber. <laughs> I have to say, the security for this castle is severely lacking. And there's the king. We've been given guidance, and now we shall move to regain our lost pride. Uh, that sounds a little, uh, not good, Dad. Yeah, we don't know what's gonna happen. What? We don't know what's on the other side of that door. The messenger spoke of hope beyond the gate. Hope for our people. 
It's not a time for words, but for action. That's always the, the, the battle cry for the people who just don't want to stop and think. It's like, it's not time for words, it's time for action. Or rather, I can't be arsed to, you know... Uh, your medal's no longer needed. We found another way of opening the gate. Great. Perfect. Dad's being a dick, and I can't stop him. Isn't that just, uh... Rather... Cliché, but... It... Yeah, your mom never would have wanted this to happen, but unfortunately, your mom has no control over this now because she's sadly dead. What are the people of darkness? Let me tell you why we're called the people of darkness. Alright, so Rune's gonna explain to us. This is the coat of arms of this country. And it's Valmar's Crest. The people of darkness are those who fought with Valmar against Granus long ago. Yet no one worships Valmar now. This is an old scar from a distant past long ago. Which means the messenger must have been Valmar. So, apparently, the person who was telling the king of how to regain their lost pride, their messenger, was really a piece of Valmar that's probably been sealed away here because... But you would think, who would seal away a piece of Valmar to the supporters of Valmar? That just doesn't sound... That, that, that doesn't sound right, does it? Alright, so, unfortunately, shit seems to be hitting the fan, too, so let's go downstairs and find out what's going on. Because I can guarantee you, it's not good. Not good at all. And hey, look, there's a guard there. This, uh, still not caring what's going on. <laughs> Alright, so we come down here, and what's going on in the door? And the door's broken. That's not even close to good. And Manory looks like he's... He's not doing well. Is he alive? Pride, that man, power, lead to darkness. His highness has been fooled. That bringer of ruin must not be free. Alright, so I don't know what's happening with Minery, but, uh... Merig looks like he's... He's getting ready to flip out. Is it Valmar? Is Valmar sealed inside? No, it's... Oh no. I think Melfus is here. Yes, one of my kind is definitely near. I'm gonna go on a limb and say, yeah, it probably is. I have lived long, my body is old, it's. Oh, he is dying. Poor own. Alright, let's go in here and see what lies on the other side of the demon ceiling gate. What the hell is this place? So this was inside the gate of darkness all along. This isn't right. It looks like we're inside a machine. I'm not getting that divine sword feeling. The center must be further in. Uh, let's... Whatever this disaster is, we're gonna have to take it apart now before it's too late. Alright. So yeah, we are now inside a creepy, creepy machine thing, and there is a save point here, so we're gonna save it. And this place looks like it's kind of... I don't know if it's backwards or not. I think they just put the... the icon for the save point in the wrong place. Which happens! It really does. There's a lot... 
to this game that seems a little little messed up. Alright, so obviously there's a limit to where we can go and what we can do in terms of how we can get around. And there are treasures here that I want to make sure I get. So I'm going to do my best to get those. And Alright, so one is here. That's 700 gold. And hey, that looks like a new bad guy. Let's attack him. Let's see what we got. Alright, this is creepy looking. I think this is a Warp Warrior. Yep, Warp Warrior. Level 27, 850 HP, Defensive 194, Movement of 62, Action 78, Magic Defense 136, and Weak versus Earth, Strong versus Fire. And he can drop a Move Blessing or a Dark Ring. So sadly, none of these guys look like they are going to be doing much of anything. Who is this? This is Millennia. Alright, um, we're gonna deal with the guy getting ready to do a move called Power Crush by doing Tenseiken Slash. Because, yeah, we're not letting that happen. <laughs> I don't know what Power Crush is. I don't want to know. I do not want to find out. Alright, and it looks like these guys can take more than one hit. So this is going to be fun. So, everyone's just going to attack everything and die. You better practice if you want to beat so, not, not a bad fight. They're not bad. And, you know, they drop a ton of special coins. Oh my god, they drop a ton of special coins. I like that. They drop no magic coins, so that's not quite good. But uh, I may spend some time here to, to farm, because, yeah, that looks fun. Alright, so now i got to figure out where I am and how I'm getting around. I think this way... Alright. And... That seemed fun, and I think there's something... Yep, there is treasure here. Soul Eater! The name of one of my favorite attacks. And it looks like it's a knife. Drains HP as 10% of damage. Oh, hell yes. Hell yes. I love that effect. I love Soul Eater. Alright. And we're safe there. We've got those guys again. And I think there's a treasure up top where they are, so I'm going to let them pass by. There is. Paralysis Salve. Now we're going to come over here, and there's something over there that I don't know how to get to. So I'm going to walk through that, not remembering that that was a thing. We're going to come up here and get whatever that item is. Ice Fang Stone. Okay, so what I just bought. And I think that's the extent of where we can get to on this side. So we're gonna have to sneak back around and do that again. However, getting to the save point is gonna kinda suck. Alright. And... Ah, damn it. Not the easiest way. And then we've got some more money right there. And... There's some stairs there. That's that's wonderful. Uh, so that's part of the problem. I can't see what's uh It's all green and black. Not exactly the best layout for this sort of thing. All right, so those things will not let me get through without too much of a fight. And there's that thing, which, um, yeah. Okay, so that makes that become a path. So that's good to know. So we can go back up that way. 
And what is over here, he asks. More of those guys, which we want to kill. There's some treasure there. Let's see. There's three more pieces of treasure here. Let's see if I can get those before ending this episode. And, yeah, I'm going to fight him, so give me just a second. Alright, so, he's dead, and we get a mana harp from that. Let's get these last two treasures, which is a move blessing, and the last one's going to be money, but I don't think I can get to it from here. It's right over there. And like I said, I don't think there is a path for me to get there from here. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, there's not. So I gotta go back around. So I'm gonna work my way back that way to get that treasure. And... Um... I was about to say, did that just close? Uh, where is that pathway? Alright, it's... I assume it's down here. Because this is the one place I haven't really been to. Which is down this way where these guys are. Yep, right there. And so that's everything. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. And I'm just going to kill a whole bunch of stuff. And then make my way back to the, uh, the save point. So I'll see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.